GPT-4 is going absolutely viral, but what can you do with it? How do you access it? And what are people building with GPT-4? GPT-4 can now turn a napkin sketch into a fully functioning website. I have here a nice hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. Take a photo. Here we go. Actual working JavaScript. He shows a hand-drawn mock-up, then he just sends it to GPT-4 and boom he got a website that actually you can click on. Actually more impressive than this was, how did it read that handwriting? They now need to create an AI support group for robots that are traumatized by optical character recognition. GPT-4 can now explain why images are funny. You can write, can you explain this meme? And sometimes I just look at pictures of the earth from space and I marvel at how beautiful it all is. And GPT-4 writes, this meme is a joke that combines two, it's chicken nuggets. They say, what's funny about this image? Describe it panel by panel. The humor in this image come from the absurdity of plugging a large outdated VGA connector into a small modern smartphone charging port. What's unusual about this image? It says it's unusual because there's a man ironing clothes on the ironing board attached to the roof of a moving taxi. But I can see that it's in New York, so it's really not that unusual. So GPT-4 just got eyes. Here is one of the most useful features. You can send it to this image and ask, what can I make with these ingredients? And it's basically saying pancakes or waffles, crepes, French toast, omelette or frittata. Here is another crazy use case showing the new multimodal capabilities of GPT-4. Just give it a photo of your fridge. <laughs> My fridge definitely looks like this too. It got fruit salad, cheese omelette, ham and cheese sandwich. Damn, I'm starting to get hungry. GPT-4 just revolutionized drug discovery and chemistry. Give it any available drug and you can find compounds with similar properties, modify them to make sure they're not patented and purchase them from a supplier, even including sending an email with a purchase order. This is wild. Question, purpose a compound with similar properties to the drug X, find a supplier that sells it. Do this by first finding yada, yada, yada. <laughs> the dark web is gonna love this. You can see that it's even creating molecules. Steve saying, can't wait until somebody does this, but for biological weapons. Apparently OpenAI is on it and they're trying to mitigate that risk. GPT-4 can now do your taxes. Here's the live demo from OpenAI. So I pasted in the tax code. This is about 16 pages worth of, of tax code. Um, and there's this question. 16 pages. Question about Alice and Bob. They got married at one point. Hard question. Question, what is their standard deduction for 2018? 24,000 is the final answer. If you notice, the model got the, to the same conclusion and you can actually read through its explanation. Here we go. The best part about this is that you can also ask it like, how did you come to that conclusion? And it will actually give you every single detail about how they came to the conclusion. So you can check it for yourself or give that to a CPA and you can kind of see it's writing right now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you don't want to do this. GPT-4 is a lot better than GPT-3. You can see that all of these are different tests, for example, for law, math, language. The green bar here is how well GPT-4 did compared to GPT-3. When it came to the uniform bar exam, which is a law test performed in the 90th percentile, which basically means that they're in the top 10% of everybody that takes the test. GPT-3.5 was way worse. You can also see the SAT math 690 compared to GPT-3 at 590. My favorite part here is GPT-3 having a 12 and 31 on GPT-4 at texting your girlfriend. You can also see the different types of languages that it's actually the best at. Performing better at everything from learning, technology, writing, history, math, science, recommendation, code, and business. That's cool. You can now use GPT-4 through ChatGPT. All you need is a plus account or have the API. Just go to chat.openai.com and in the top, once you got a plus account, you can click here on GPT-4. It says that it has the best reasoning, a level two speed and a level four conciseness. GPT-3 has a level three reasoning, five speed and two conciseness. The price of it is $20 a month, but it still can't read the web. From my experience using it, GPT-3 sometimes were missing something that I said, 
or I had to be super specific. Now it just understands me better. It's so easy to talk to. So I started telling it all my deepest secrets and it replied with a meme. Let me show you some of the best use cases for GPT-4. Be My Eyes are using it to help the visually impaired to take a photo and describe what they're seeing. Duolingo, a language learning app, is using it to have your own personal tutor. It can scan your entire front end and find bugs and errors. This also includes security issues. Intercom has now launched a customer service service with AI. You may have seen this round corner in the bottom right of any website. Well, you can now chat with it way better. The Bing search engine is also using GPT-4. Khan Academy just started using GPT-4 to shape the future of learning, but apparently it's only available for United States. You can use GPT-4 to generate a one-click lawsuit to sue robocallers for 1,500 bucks. Imagine receiving a call clicking a button and the call is transcribed and a 1000 word lawsuit is generated. <laughs> GPT-4 can code an entire game for you with zero knowledge of JavaScript all in less than 20 minutes. So maybe spend the next 20 minutes making a game or click the next video here and subscribe. That's it for now. Peace.